Hey guys, this is Celestite. Today I'm going to be bringing you my first tutorial, which I'm really excited for because what I'm about to show you will give you full and total control over your drums, but at the same time makes the whole process of creating drums patterns much easier. So to get started, we're going to open up an instance of FPC, which gives you the ability to layer multiple samples on top of each other. And I just love the fact that you can set different ranges of velocities to play different sounds all by using one note in the piano roll. So the first thing I'm going to do is load the empty preset in one instance of FPC here. And I'll just get it loaded. Presets, empty. And this one pad in particular will be just for my kick drum. So I'm going to copy one for each sound that I want. So I'll start right now. The mouse just froze. And sec clap sound. And um, basic hi-hat. So. I also want to link these to separate tracks on the mixer. I'll start with my kick. Snare. And the next sound here. And just a hi-hat. So now I'll start by loading up some sounds here. F8 there, got my patches up. Here we go. Uh, oh, nice. This will be my kick. All right, so now that I got some basic sounds going here, I'm gonna show you how to layer them in FPC using the same pad or the same note in piano roll or the same thing on your keyboard. So I'll just get my samples back here. And you can actually just drag the sound right onto the same pad you used. I'll delete this one instead. So yeah, here's my primary one. And there's the one I just added. Here's the tuning here. You can get them tuned together so it sounds good. And there's volume. So it definitely sounds a bit better than before. You can activate this as the attack, decay, sustain, and release. And if the waveforms don't line up, you can right click here and edit them in Edison and then just drag them right back on. And just so you know, in FPC, the default settings, um, it kicks usually right here two snares right here uh, closed hi-hat open here's the pedal this is the tambourine usually side stick and the second row here is the tom and ride cymbals and crashes the rest of the time. yeah it's pretty much it so the next step i'm going to take is going to um, link each of these sounds to a different note on your keyboard or midi controller so if you're unable to play notes on your keyboard, you hold Control T and it will turn this light off and on. If you want that on, you can just click it. And you want to select the FPC channel that you're going to link. I'll start with the kick. I'm going to actually link it to Q or C5. So it's already set, but you press Q or C5 on your keyboard. And this drop down right here, you click on it and it will go to last hit. And then your snare will be W or D5. And then the second snare or clap will be E or E5. And hats will be R, T, and Y. So I'll start with just the one hat. The closed one is going to be R. So click on that. And then F5 or R. All right, so I got those all linked separately. And now how I want to group them together, I'm going to insert a layer here. So 
that will be for my drums all together. And let me get this set up. So you want this window open for that when you're highlighted the layer, this right here. And while it's highlighted, you want to hold shift and click on the bubble beside every channel of your drum sounds. And you can click on all the ones that you want to group together or just drag across from the light. And you want to click on set children. And now you can play them all individually with all the keys that you linked. Q W E R. I don't know why I did Oh, there we go. But that's the beauty of it. They'll all play individually right here on your mixer. So you can put an effect on one at a time. Do whatever you want to do while you're holding the drums down. Whatever. <laughs> and. You can just put this in the piano roll. I think, no, I might already got one out. Yeah. I'll make a beat here real quick. On C5 is the kick, we know that. All right, so you get the idea there. But another thing I wanted to do is route these all individually to one mixer channel. I'll stop you for a sec. So you just highlight the one you want to route, and then the little gray button above the effects on here. While it's highlighted, you want to right click that on the main drum channel and say route to this track only. Route to this track only. We'll do that with all of those. And you'll see what I mean here real quick. I'll play that pattern again. Add some hats. So now I can actually do what I want, like sidechain the uh, hats to the kick, so they're all individualized. I have this all set to go, but I don't know if it's working now, is it? Yeah, it's kind of working. Alright, that's pretty much it. And on the drum channel, I can have my effects here. Doing what I want, exactly. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Happy producing. Cheers.